Ah, it's a brand new day with the world at Tracy's fingertips. Good morning, Siri. Good morning to you, too. <laughs> her smartphone is her number one. It completes her. But how much is too much? Tracy's got a fear of being without her phone. I thought I lost you, Terry. And that fear has even got a name, nomophobia. She's not alone. A recent study shows that 29% of Americans suffer from some form of nomophobia. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> OK. Sweet. Excuse you. Today, we're at the Omega Diner in New Jersey. And Tracy's playing a waiter more interested in her phone than her customers. What will people do? Guys, we need to start shooting. Nothing sounding good? Yeah, it does, actually. It's just soup or salad. Can you hold this for a sec? Tracy fires up her wireless headpiece. Hello. As this family reads the day specials. Tommy, I told you I can't talk right now. It's my boyfriend. It's my boyfriend. Okay, so, and what's your problem? You're being annoying. Yeah, you're being annoying. I have, I'm helping people right now. Hold on, I'm sorry. Have you decided yet? No. Sorry. No. Hamburger? Hang up and turn the phone off. It's rude. I'm trying to, trying to Being rude. Here. They're telling you they're rude. I'll have a hamburger. That's kind of gross. Can anyone be this rude? No. It's fine. What would you do? Where's John Kenyonis? <laughs> Did someone call me? Okay, let's break it. Hi there. How are you? I'm John. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God, you're so handsome in real life. Oh, it's unbelievable. Everybody's online talking to somebody. It's very rude. People shouldn't do that. Put your phones away. You would think. Interact. Yeah. This regular customer thinks she's here for another relaxing breakfast. I'd like a uh, spinach and mushroom omelet with American cheese and okay. sausage on the side. No. That's me. No, I'm oh, sorry. They're talking to me on the on my tip. Sorry. Can you put your phone down and listen to me for a minute? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag crazy. Excuse me. She calls over the manager, who of course is with us. Well, she seems to be on her phone more than she's listening to me. She's very new. Well, you better tell her to get off her phone. When she tries to complain. Hold on one second. This is the boss. Hold on one second. Sure. Uh, hold on. No, not happening. Did I mess it up again? But now her order comes in wrong. How much more will she take? You were too busy on the phone. I asked you to get off the phone so you could pay attention to my order. Yeah, she was talking. Hold on. <laughs> you, you, you need to stay off your phone if you want to be in customer service, okay? You're, you're waiting. I can you let, let your boss deal with this. Can you text me your order so that I can make sure I get it right? You need to trouble. text you your order? My order? He's had enough. My family and I have come here for years, and, and she, she's got to go. I was patient at first, but then I was starting to lose it because she was on her phone so much. <laughs> now, wait a minute, is that the girl I see on the channel all yeah, the time? That's, that's oh, my that's goodness. Crazy. Throughout the day, we find mixed reactions to Tracy's off the hook behavior. <gasps> Why? Lots of people get annoyed. <laughs> oh, sorry. There you go. Cool. Okay, before you guys eat, let me Instagram this real quick. Can you put your hand like that? Like you're presenting the food? Come on. Just tell her what Instagram is. I don't really care. I want to eat with Oh, OK. Let me just do it real quick. entire meal, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, OK. Sorry, guys. Thank you. What is wrong with you? She needs a mental institution or something. At times, it seems like a comedy skit. A four, 14 omelet. Yeah, that white omelet. Are you sure? Yeah. No, not you. <laughs> Pretty sure. Egg white. <laughs> Some people are tolerant, like this woman who has to endure an unappetizing conversation. You no, know, he has a horrible toe fungus. He went to the doctor, he had some, some like pus or something coming out of it. It's nasty. 
It's like green, almost gangrene. How do you even spell gangrene? It's G-R-G-A. G-A-N-G-R-E-N-E. Now she's helping Tracy with her spelling. Oh, I'm sorry, how? G-A-N-G-R-E-N-E. R-E-N-E. That is correct. This diner just goes with the flow. Do you want to text your order? You can tell Siri. Jalapeno pepper with eggs and home fries. He even joins in on Tracy's video call. <laughs> what if you're in a hurry and your food is all no, messed up? I'm never in a rush. Listen, what is to be like got to be like. So never rush it. Casserole, casserole, tuna casserole. Before we call it a day, we meet these lifelong friends, Miriam and Sandy. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Hello. We're ready to order. Okay. No. <laughs> she is absolutely not with us. Stop it. 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 Miriam is annoyed. The minestrone is good, actually. Oh. Let me check what's in the minestrone. Siri, what is the minestrone soup? Sorry, I didn't find any restaurants. Uh -huh. She's always sorry. Miriam is pretty serious. Oh, but we can order it. Oh, you ready? But Sandy plays along. Siri, take notes. Two minestrones, um, a uh, tuna on rye, not toasted. Tuna on rye, <clears throat> toasted lettuce, no tomato. Oh, minestrone. lettuce and tomato, Siri, for me. Lettuce, tomato, tomato, Siri, me. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Time to break this scene, and this time, I'll go high tech. Hello there. There it is. Tracy, can you hear me? Can you talk to my friend? Hi, what's up? Do you know that you have been on Hidden Camera as part of a TV show called What Would You Do? Uh, I'm on? Yes. Oh, how interesting. What would you do with our waitress? She's very sweet. She's very pretty. Um, very involved with technology, and we have a poor connection. Oh. <laughs> You are such a good sport. I've lived long enough to know that I have to smile, honey, because if I don't, I'll get old faster than I am already. I am 75 years no, old. No, you're not. Yes, no. I am. She started getting your order given to Siri. Yes. What did you think of that? She did. Oh, well, I don't know because people do things on the phone all the time. My kids do. It doesn't. You almost thought it was me. normal. Yeah, I thought she was normal. My kids are just like that. Sweet. Could it be this? Becoming the new normal? Tracy, I know you love me, but get off the phone and go to sleep. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy!